Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're making an epically special dish straight from Sri Lanka. It's one of our favorites. It's called Pol Sambal. I may even have an extra special guest to help me make it. Welcome my special guest. <laughs> this is my boyfriend, Jimmy. You guys have heard his voice, I know, from off camera. And if you watched my Tiger Butter video, you saw him smearing chocolate all over his face. The reason that he is actually in front of the camera with me today is because this dish that we're making is his epic, ultra, all-time favorite from our travels through Asia. It is. Pulsan Ball is this, this, it just combines all the flavors that I absolutely love into one dish. Uh, minus garlic, we got that garlic if you want too to. Much in here. But oh, you have it for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, anytime snack. It's amazing. Goes well with anything. You can. You literally oh. eat this with absolutely everything. So before we tell you more about this dish, let's go to Sri Lanka. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look delicious, like obsession. So let's go over the ingredients so you guys know exactly what you need to be able to make this yourself at home. We're going to start with coconut. This is really the king of this dish, the most important part. This is what we buy. We buy it frozen at our Asian market. <laughs> I did not know it's a bro it's why a bro you were taking that away from me. <laughs> so I was like, what is happening? So get, make sure you get grated coconut and not shredded coconut because grated coconut still has those good oils in it and you need that for this to help you mix all the ingredients together. So this is what it looks like when we purchase it. This is what it looks like thawed. It's tough to find, so you might go to the uh, Asian market to find this. Mm -hmm. You'll find it in the frozen food section of the Asian markets. Uh, everybody has, this one's actually, I think, Filipino. Or if you have an Indian Filipino. market, they have it there too. Yeah, basically any, anywhere, any Asian market you can go to, mm -hmm. you get this. Uh, don't buy the bakers, like the baking aisle, like the shredded coconut. Yes. It does not work. That's very important to mention, thank you. When you go to your regular grocery store, like Walmart or anything like that, you get the, the baker's coconut in the blue bag that's already sweetened. Don't use that. It will be horrible. Also, don't use dried coconut that comes in like a baggie that's in like the health food section. Also not the same thing. So you need to have this. It needs to be fresh coconut. So what else do we need for this? We need shallots. I've got four small shallots here. Um, in Asia, they use little kind of marble sized ones, but we don't have those here in the States. So we're using these. We have one Thai chili. Listen, this is really hot. So you guys are like, it's one pepper. Let me tell you, <laughs> this one little tiny pepper will light your life on fire. So that's why there's just one. We have a lime, which you're gonna need that's important, salt, and Sri Lankan chili powder. Now you cannot use just regular chili powder with this. So don't freak out on me. I have a fantastic, incredible resource for you guys for Sri Lankan spices that I'll put all in the description box. If you go to Amazon, you're gonna pay $15. Don't do that. Come from this guy, you get three bucks. Whole big old bag. So We're absolutely check lucky. the description for that. Yeah. It's awesome. With that caveat down below in the link, uh, we actually really lucky that we have one of the it's best the Sri Lankan, one. well, yeah, the only one uh, in, in the south of, of the US, basically. Mm -hmm. Like the whole area, surrounding states, Texas in particular, 
the only Sri Lankan restaurant. He also has a, has a well, grocery, grocery store. store. That's where he gets yes. it from. So it all imports out of Sri Lanka. That's where I got mine. And it was so much better. I was so discouraged by what I was seeing online. And he ships nationwide and he's incredible. So make sure you guys support him. I'll put that all below. Also, you'll see him soon when it's a little safer. We're gonna film some really yummy dishes from Sri Lanka with him and his restaurant. So stay tuned for that. Excited about that. I'm really glad you're here because I'm gonna put you to work. <laughs> I figured that's why this is in front of me. So Shout out to my mom and dad. We got fancy knives for Christmas, you guys. So we're we're really hoping Jimmy doesn't cut a finger off right now because that's epically sharp. So we're gonna start with the shallots. So we've got four shallots here. I'm gonna put your, can I put your bowl right there for mm -hmm. you to chop down? Yeah, just throw that in the freezer. We're not gonna need that anymore. So while he's chopping, I am gonna move this over and tell you guys a little bit about this. So we were able to stay in the most epic Airbnb when we were there where he made us breakfast every morning and he found out Jimmy loves this dish and so he made it for us every day. Every morning. Every morning with roti. Shout out to Santa. Yes, thank you Santa. <laughs> he would make it with roti, he would make us potato curry, like eggs, like he was just the absolute best, he and his wife. So they were so much fun. So that's kind of where this obsession started and then really grew <laughs> was because Santa spoiled us so much while we were there. And then we actually learned to make this with our friend Delandry, which you probably saw in a video. I'll also link that down below. So you guys can check that out from our travel channel. We went over to her house and she taught me how to make pole sambal as well as an incredible like Sri Lankan chicken curry, which I'll be making for you guys soon too. So yeah, shout out to her. So when he's gonna work on these shallots and then we're gonna come back and tell you what to do next. You guys are getting really emotional right now. <laughs> Woo! I didn't think scallions, I mean, uh, he didn't think shallots. Shallots will make you cry, just like any other onion, guys. <sighs> he's on his last one. Tears. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Almost done there. So I wanted to explain something to you guys real quick about the Sri Lankan chili powder. Now, Sri Lankan chili powder is essentially chili pieces ground up into a really fine powder. This is not like the chili powder that you would put in say a Texas chili or something like that. This is hot. This is made from chili peppers and it sneaks up on you. So we're gonna start little by little. Really, the whole reason that we started filming this video is because Jimmy wanted this and mm -hmm. we thought it'd be fun for the channel. So. That's why you may see us add some things in and taste it and then move on from there because we're still kind of developing a good recipe that I can actually write for all of you because usually we just eyeball this. There's a lot of variations of it too. Like, there are. Like, I, I, and I remember, remember that when she put like, maybe a curry leaf in hers and we saw some I don't know if it was curry leaf, but she put a different kind of herb in it that I don't know that we can find. She also put tomatoes in it. He doesn't like tomatoes, so we omitted that. Um, and usually a traditional thing that they put in this in Sri Lanka is actually like a, a hardened fish that's actually flaked up. Also not a fan of that. So we don't put that in there for him. So it's it's essentially like anything else, you guys. You make the recipe, fit your taste buds. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna make you cut the pepper. This is not gonna be nearly as difficult. Now we're basically, <laughs> this shouldn't make you cry, but I'm just gonna have, have him slice this pretty thin so we can add this in there. Because it's so small, it's easy to incorporate it. But while he does that, the best thing you're gonna use to mix this is your hands. So I'm gonna pull all the jewelry off because I don't want chili all in it. All right, I'm gonna put this with the onion just because right. it makes sense. So it doesn't look like a lot, but it packs quite a punch. I like having you here. It means I don't have to do these things. It's nice. So just cut that in half for me, the lime, so we've got it. You gotta get in there with your hands. You gotta get people, dirty. So Delandry, our friend Delandry used the mortar and pestle because she had like one of those big, long, like, like masa, what do you even call that? I don't even know what you call that. We don't have one. I have a baby one, and this is too much to fit the baby one, and I don't wanna do it in shifts. So the best way, we're just gonna get in there with our hands. So what we're gonna add first is we're going to add our chili and our onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. This is such a staple because like coconut is used in basically every dish in, in Sri Lanka. Things like they have so roti that has roti. that. Oh yeah, excellent. Um, they oh okay. Here's a caveat to this too. Sri Lanka is known for one of the only variations of, of coconut that I absolutely adore, and that is the orange coconut, a king coconut, what they call it in Sri Lanka. Um, they're orange. The only place, only only place on the earth you find these orange coconuts is in Sri, in Sri Lanka. Um, I love them. This is probably what 
you'd use it with with with, with this initially in Chicago, but this is actually Filipino coconut. So if you want to try it, you can actually. Oh gosh, now he's gonna brag. If you want to try it, Trader Joe's actually sells a king coconut water that's from Sri Lanka. If you look on the back of it, it looks a lot like this. Let me show you. Right here, looks like that. The obsession's real and it's deep. We mentioned Santith earlier. He went and bought this coconut knife for Jimmy. That's if you've seen it hanging up. That's why it kind of looks like a murder scene behind me sometimes. Is because we have small nephews and this will cut their hand off. So we it's hang cut, it up. I sliced hide. my finger open before. It's very very sharp, but that's what they use to open coconuts. So he's gonna start mixing, and we're gonna kind of incorporate, squeeze, incorporate, squeeze, all of that. So we're also gonna put some salt in there. This is a is a salt uh, grater that we bought when we were in Bonaire, because they make the best salt. We're really bracking humans. <laughs> it's such a fun I'm island, sorry, too. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know this makes cool. it sound like real jerks. But down the but... ABC Islands in, in the Southern Caribbean, there's Bonaire, uh, Aruba, and Curacao, and uh, they have they have a salt mine there, basically a salt flats, and they get the salt there. That's what this is from. We basically, because I love to cook so much, I always buy this stuff every time we go somewhere. We're gonna start with about a teaspoon. So you'll see it turn orange after a while, reddish orange. That's because of the chili powder. So. The whole, the whole dish turns from white white to brownish orange. So we're gonna try to mix that around. You shouldn't see any any brown. I mean, should, sorry, you shouldn't see any white yeah, shouldn't see after any all white. this. I'm gonna add mm -hmm. a little salt first. Okay. And then we'll taste it, but we definitely need more chili powder. Yeah, definitely. And this stuff is a sneak attack, man. It gets you, whew. I didn't make roti for us to try this with you guys. I have some bread, so we're gonna try it that way today. But we eat this with eggs and it's the best. But you can also put it in a piece of roti and wrap it up like a burrito and just go to town. Anything. It's so it's good. It's a topping, you it by itself. Mm -hmm. It's, oh. It's so good. We need to do some lime, feeling a little dry. Yeah, it's not so much dry, it's just it needs that citrus, that acid brightness. Because before we can really know what else needs to go in here? I'm keeping track so I can write this recipe for you guys. This is 100% like, I was gonna film today, but we were gonna film other things, so this is an impromptu. This is self-serving for me, basically, <laughs> because I really, really wanted it. Like, I know I need some of that full sun ball, so. I still don't know that it's orange enough. It's not. Oh no. Mm -mm. No, we're not there yet at all. Still having the coconut. Oh yeah, maybe two. Woo! You get that chili though. We're the only ones gonna eat this, so that's why it doesn't matter if like <laughs> I taste it and go back in. Nobody else is gonna eat this. We're getting closer. Should I do half a one or whole one? Mm -hmm. There you go. I guess it's the whole one. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be I guess so it's hot. It's gonna be spicy, man. Woo. Maybe a little more lime. Yeah, definitely a lot more lime. I get your eye? Sorry. <laughs> I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> Sorry. Woo. Honestly, salt needs more chili. We decided to make an addition. <laughs> it was missing something. It was huh? missing something. I, I tried to figure out what it was, and, and it's hard to recreate stuff that's in your mind. And mm -hmm. we've had this, you know, in, in Dallas times. at the Chicago restaurant, and we've had it before, after that too, but this, it was empty. Something was seemed a little missing, and I think it was peppers. We needed more peppers. A little more, more crunch. So I'm gonna actually add two more. Um, it's spicy. Yeah. And these are spicy. But if you look at the video that we have linked below, when the Landry made this, she had a handful of chili flakes that she ground up. So it's pretty equivalent. This is the right color. So I think we just needed a little more chili. Okay. Got our trusty loaf of bread. Yeah, I, I wish we were able to have roti or parentha or I something like that, but we just, we, we forgot It's a lot of it. effort. Yeah. And I'll show you guys how to make it if you want me to, but it's an awful lot of effort. It's easy ingredients, it's like free yeah. ingredients. It's just a process. I just got a big loaf of bread for us to try. You wanna pull a piece off of there? Sure. With pleasure. Actually, I might. So good. It's hot. It's spicy and coconut. I mean, what else? Mm -hmm. but Citrus. Mm -hmm. You get that spice and that heat, 
but it's not overpowering because the sweet kind of counteracts it. Some people put sugar in it. I didn't because I kind of am more of a, I don't know if it's a purist thing, but I don't want it overly sweet, but you can literally just like get in there with it like that, throw it on some eggs. It will change your life. I'm Bye. telling you, you guys are so good. <laughs> You're so cute. Don't even care. Don't even care. I hope you guys give this a try. I hope you love it as much as we do. It's an obsession, I'm gonna be super honest with you. So check the description below for your Sri Lankan curry powder, for videos from when we were in Sri Lanka, as well as the recipe for this. So I'll take kind of our fun little free way of doing this and write a recipe so you guys have it so you can taste it at home. Make sure you tag me over on Instagram with the photo if you try it, I wanna see. But thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Mm. Welcome my special, I, how are we gonna do the intro though? I'm gonna do it with my hands. <laughs> Am I supposed to sit like this? Should I? No, that won't work. No, okay. that won't work. It looked funny. Thank you, Belly. Just relax. Okay. Why are you, why are you being I don't so, do so <laughs> awkward? This is awkward. I like being on this end of the camera. Oh God. <laughs> we film together all the time and now like, I don't know what to do.